Welcome to the DEF CAM. The recent aerial skirmish between India and Pakistan in May 2025 demonstrated Pakistan's tactical superiority in dogfights, with its JF-17 Block III and J-10C fighters outperforming adversary aircraft. However, this tactical success has revealed an urgent need to modernize air defense systems against evolving asymmetric threats. The proliferation of low-cost kamikaze drones and the persistent challenge posed by supersonic cruise missiles like BrahMos demand a fundamental shift in defensive doctrine. Microwave-based directed energy weapons present a cost-effective soft-kill solution that could revolutionize Pakistan's multi-layered air defense network while maintaining fiscal sustainability. Kamikaze drones have emerged as a particularly challenging threat due to their low production cost, autonomous operation, and swarm capabilities. These systems can saturate traditional air defenses, rendering conventional interception methods economically unsustainable. Microwave weapons offer an elegant solution through their ability to simultaneously engage multiple targets within a defined engagement envelope. By emitting high-power microwave pulses in 1 to 10 GHz frequency range, these systems can induce catastrophic failures in drone electronics through a phenomenon known as front-door coupling where energy enters through intentional apertures like antennas or backdoor coupling, where energy penetrates through seams and gaps in the airframe. The effect is instantaneous and non-kinetic, either disabling the drone's guidance system or causing uncontrolled flight termination. The technical implementation of microwave counter-drone systems requires careful consideration of several parameters. Effective engagement ranges demand peak power outputs in the gigawatt range, achievable through relativistic magnetrons or virtual cathode oscillators. Pulse repetition frequencies must be optimized to balance target effect with system cooling requirements. The microwave beams can be shaped using phased array antennas to concentrate energy on specific targets or spread across wider areas for swarm engagements. Pakistan's existing radar infrastructure could be augmented with microwave weapon systems, creating an integrated detection and neutralization network. Mobile platforms, including truck-mounted systems and aerostat-based emitters, would provide flexible deployment options across varied terrain. Four hardened military installations, fixed-site microwave defenses offer persistent protection. These systems would incorporate high-capacity power supplies, either through grid connections or dedicated turbine generators, with superconducting magnetic energy storage systems providing the necessary burst power for engagements. Thermal management presents a significant engineering challenge, requiring advanced liquid cooling systems to maintain operational readiness during sustained engagements. The integration of these systems with Pakistan's Air Defense Command and Control Network would enable automated threat assessment and prioritization, with machine learning algorithms optimizing engagement sequences based on incoming threat patterns. The economic advantages of microwave systems are compelling when compared to traditional kinetic interceptors. While development costs are substantial, the marginal cost per engagement is negligible, limited primarily to the electrical power consumed. A single microwave system could potentially engage thousands of drone targets before requiring major maintenance, dramatically improving sustainability during prolonged conflicts. This cost profile makes microwave defenses particularly effective against saturation attacks, where adversaries attempt to overwhelm defenses through sheer numbers. However, supersonic threats like the BrahMos missile present a more complex challenge. Traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 2.8 with advanced counter-countermeasures, these weapons require different interception approaches. Microwave systems may still play a role in terminal phase defense by disrupting the missile's guidance electronics, but their effectiveness against hardened military systems is less certain. For these threats, Pakistan must consider layered defense solutions combining microwave systems with other advanced technologies. High-power laser systems offer potential for supersonic missile defense, with their ability to deliver concentrated energy to vulnerable missile components. Fiber laser systems in the 100-plus kilowatt range could target missile seeker heads or control surfaces during the terminal approach phase. When combined with microwave systems, these could create a multi-spectral directed energy defense layer. Electromagnetic railguns represent another potential solution, using kinetic energy projectiles to intercept high-speed threats at a lower cost than traditional missile interceptors. 
The development of these advanced systems requires substantial investment in research and human capital. Pakistan's engineering institutions must expand directed energy weapons programs to cultivate domestic expertise. Specialized training for system operators and maintenance crews will be essential for operational effectiveness. Collaboration with strategic partners could accelerate technology development while controlling costs. Strategic implications extend beyond immediate defensive applications. Effective deployment of microwave defenses would force adversaries to invest in expensive hardening measures for their drone fleets, altering their cost-benefit calculations. The technology could also create export opportunities for Pakistan's defense industry. Most importantly, it would provide a sustainable solution to the evolving aerial threat landscape while preserving Pakistan's conventional military advantages. Implementation should proceed through phased testing and evaluation, beginning with counter-drone applications before progressing to more complex missile defense scenarios. Parallel development of supporting technologies in power generation and thermal management will enhance overall system capabilities. Pakistan's defense establishment must balance immediate operational needs with long-term technological development to maintain its strategic edge. The electromagnetic spectrum is becoming an increasingly critical battle space, and microwave weapons represent just one component of a comprehensive electronic warfare capability. Future systems may incorporate adaptive beam forming and cognitive electronic warfare techniques to counter evolving threats. What remains clear is that traditional kinetic solutions alone cannot address the quantity and variety of emerging threats. Microwave-based air defense offers Pakistan a technologically sophisticated and economically sustainable path to maintaining aerial superiority. By investing in these capabilities now, Pakistan can secure its airspace against current threats while positioning itself for future challenges. The lessons of the 2025 engagement demonstrate that innovation in defensive technologies is not merely advantageous, but essential for national security in the modern era. This transition must occur within a broader modernization framework that considers all aspects of air defense. Microwave interception systems represent a critical component of this evolution, providing Pakistan with an asymmetric advantage to complement its conventional military strengths. As aerial threats continue to evolve in sophistication and scale, Pakistan's ability to adapt its defensive systems will determine its capacity to maintain air superiority in future conflicts. The development and deployment of microwave-based air defense systems is not just a tactical imperative, but a strategic necessity for Pakistan's national security in the coming decades. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.